I was shocked and saddened, much like everyone, to hear the news surrounding Neil Peart. Being a sculptor, my natural response was to express myself in the best way that I knew how. I grew up with the music of Rush, and I'm not old enough to remember a time when it didn't exist. I'm the youngest in my family, and I always looked up to the music my brothers listened to. My drive is to create beautiful works of art. That's, that's kind of my thing. Uh, most people are not really familiar with uh, the, the process of creating a bronze sculpture. It's uh, what I find a lot of people come to the foundry and, and uh, I have to explain like, you know, how does, a, how does a clay sculpture like the one that's pictured next to me uh, become a bronze piece? Uh, this tradition is literally millennia old. It, uh, it's, uh, as far as I know, it's at least 6,000 years old. Uh, it goes back to the Bronze Age, uh, literally. But uh, in a nutshell, uh, I guess, w how you create a bronze sculpture is you first create the piece in clay. Uh, it could be a water-based clay or plasticine or, or whatever, but uh, you have to create molds of it. So the sculptor never actually uh, you know, dips the bronze in something like, uh, uh, you know, electroplating, which is kind of how people think of it, but uh, it's, it's literally melted at 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, poured into ceramic molds, and those molds are broken open, and uh, you're left with the bronze statue. That, that process, in a nutshell, is, is, you know, is at the, you know, the dawning of uh, the technological uh, invention of uh, of the alloy of, of bronze. Um, you know, the uh, kind of the genesis of this uh, project was uh, my brother. Uh, it's kind of one of these things. Careful what you say. Uh, you know, my brother, uh, you know, literally phoned me up one day and told me about the news of uh, Neil Peart and uh, had informed me that. Uh, um, that he had passed away, and that uh, the uh, that there was also, uh, you know, at a later date, that a, a petition had uh, formed, and they were going to uh, uh, try to create a bronze statue, and and so this was kind of one of these things where, where I felt like, you know, it, it uh, you know, you know, in my circle of friends and the people that I I knew, it would be uh, it would be pretty awesome for everyone to come together and express themselves uh, in their art form and what they do best. And, you know, for, for me, uh, having grown up listening to all the music that my brother played over the years, I mean, he, he knows all these songs, Limelight, uh, you know, Closer to the Heart, you know, YYZ. Um, again, these, these are kind of the iconic uh, pieces of music that, uh, you know, you don't you don't even think twice about uh, you know when you associate with the band. But uh, uh, you know, one of my my good friends, Peter Fuhrer, is a uh, musician that's uh, you know trying to make his way in the uh, the music industry today, and you know, f a very talented individual, uh, you know, doing his own music and performing and 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 gigging and this this kind of thing so i thought it was a you know it was just a natural fit for you know our our core group of uh, friends to come together and you know tell a tell a story about uh, you know what the band meant to us uh perform some music and uh, and basically just you know remember the uh the the life and honor the uh you know the gift of the music that uh, rush has produced over the years I turn my back to the wind To catch my breath before I start off again Driven on without a moment to spend To pass an evening with a drink and a friend let my skin get too thin I'd like to pause No matter what I pretend Like some pilgrim Who learns to transcend Learns to live as if each step was the end Time stands still 
Yeah.